Hi, this is Bill Bass. Today I was trying to embed a custom search engine uh, by Google into a Google site and I was having trouble doing it. So I have two solutions that I came up with. I'm not sure that these are the best solutions, but there are two that I know work. So I want to share that and if there are any, if anybody has any better ideas about how to go about doing this, I would love to hear them. So first of all, I'm on my Google site here and I have created a Google custom search over Shakespeare. And if you're not familiar, what Google custom search does is it gives you the ability to define the sites that would be searched from a specific search engine. So it really pairs down the results that you're going to have. In this case, I have one that is a Shakespeare search engine. So if I type in Shakespeare, if I type in Romeo into this field, what it's going to do is it's only going to search ShakespeareOnline.com and the Globe Theater. So these are the two sites that I have defined that I want this search engine to search. Now if I click search, it's going to go and search those and you can see I only have 351 results. That is significantly less and every one of these results is from either ShakespeareOnline.com and if I if I flip through some of these pages, I would find some from uh, the the uh, Globe Theater. So that's what that's what a custom search engine does. So I want to take that power and put it into a Google site that I have. So I have this site over here, and there's two different ways that you can do this. The first way is to change this search box that comes with all Google sites into a custom search box. Okay, so in order to do that, to change this, what I'm going to do is click on when I'm logged into my Google site, click on more up the top here and go down to where it says manage site. Okay, under manage site, then over on the left, click on site layout. This is going to take you to the basic layout for the site and on here you have the option for configure search. Now when I get in and configure search, the defaults are to, number one, have search enabled, which just puts that box on there. And then I have two search providers that are uh, that show up here. First of all is this site, which searches just the pages of whatever Google site I'm working with. Or I can use Google.com by clicking this. Now I also have the opportunity to choose my default, whether I want it to be the site search or I want it to be the web search. For my purposes right now, I wanted to search that Shakespeare site. So I can add that by coming over to the Advanced tab, clicking on Advanced, and right now I have no search providers. So I can add a provider here. Click on Add a Provider. Ask me what type of provider, so I'm going to choose Google Custom Search. Okay, now this is my Shakespeare search or I could even change that around and do search for Shakespeare and then I need the custom search engine URL so I need to go back to my search engine, my custom search engine highlight my URL copy that URL and come back and paste it into this search engine URL field Right here where it says show results in site, what that does is it doesn't uh, take me out of my current Google site. It shows the results directly in that site. So I'm going to go ahead and lay that checked. I'll click OK. Search for Shakespeare comes up right here. And then click back on that general tab. Instead of choosing these two, I want to choose the search for Shakespeare. That means that the only search that can be done in that URL is by Shakespeare. Now, if I want to give a little, a few more options, I can also do search this site and choose that default. What that does is it will give me a drop down back on my main page to show what I'm searching. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to click search this site or my search providers this site and I'm going to make the default search for Shakespeare. So anytime they do a search on this website, they will be searching my uh, websites that I've defined. Click OK, click Save, and then go back to my custom search. Now you're going to see right up here, this now says search for Shakespeare, and I have a drop down where I can 
search this site or search for Shakespeare. If I click in my search box and type in Romeo once again, search for Shakespeare, my search results will load up and here are those same results that I got when I did my custom search back over on the other page. Okay, So that's one way to do it. Now the problem that I have with this way is this can get easily get lost unless I specifically tell kids this is where you can search for those specific sites that can easily get overlooked. So what I want to do is I'm going to put right here under home, I'm going to put another search box okay, using that same search engine. So in this case I need to click on edit page. I'm on my main page where I want this. I click edit page and right underneath here if I put my cursor inside of there, that's where I'm going to add that custom search box. Okay, To do that, go up to Insert, down to More Gadgets, Okay, because this is it is ultimately a gadget that I'm going to add. And in the Search Templates field up here, I'm going to click, and inside, in quotation marks, I'm going to put Tiny Custom Search. Okay. Now the only reason I put quotation marks around it is because I know that this already exists in here, that the tiny custom search is the name of the gadget that I want. So I'm just going to save myself some time of sorting through all the results that I get. So when I click on search, it's going to give me two results. Both of these work. They're exactly the same thing. So for my circumstances right now, I'm just going to choose the top one click on that and I'm gonna click select right down here at the bottom okay now what this is gonna do is this is going to add the gadget to my page and at this point I can customize it a little bit so the first thing is the custom search engine ID okay that is referenced by a CX so going back to my custom search engine in my other tab you're going to see in that URL there is a CX equals a whole bunch of numbers, okay, and so and some letters. You're going to highlight that entire thing, copy it, and paste that back in that search ID. Okay, so now this is my custom search engine. This is the ID of my custom search engine. I'm going to change the title here. I'm going to say Shakespeare. I can center the logo. One of the things I am going to do is I'm going to check this new window checkbox. What that's going to do is that's going to open that search inside a new window. So my web page that I'm working on or that students are on doesn't get lost. It doesn't close out. So I'm going to go ahead and click on new window. This all should be fine. I am going to change again the name of the title on the gadget and then finally I'm going to click OK. Now it's not going to show up here yet you're just going to see a placeholder until I hit save that's going to take me back to my page so click save here is my custom search engine. So now I have this custom search engine it's a lot more visible than the custom search that's up here this can get lost a lot easier than this it has the logo Kids can see it a little easier. So now when I come here and type Romeo again, it's going to open up a new page. And once again, I have all those same results from ShakespeareOnline.com. I don't know if there's a better way. If you know of a better way, I would love to hear about it. If you're trying to do the same kind of thing, I hope this helps you out.